way to Bris Vegas and we're going to be catching up with Paul and Danielle and finding out what they need help with when they're shooting for their dog business. at Paul and Danielle's house for urban dog training and apparently they've got a video problem, so let's check it out. Hi, Hi. how are you doing? Nice to meet you, Danielle and Paul, how nice are you? you? Nice good, good. to meet you. So, I hear you've got a bit of a video problem. We sure do, thank goodness you're here. Really? Okay, yeah. shall we take a look? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so this is all the gear, this is everything that I've got. Um, I love photography, but when it comes to video, I've got mountains of stuff. Um, I'm stuck. I'm not getting anywhere with anything. We've spent thousands of dollars on millions of different pieces of equipment, and Paul keeps assuring me with each new piece of equipment that we buy that this will help us, and this, this time we're going to get good videos, and um, unfortunately we're stuck. We don't even know where to, how to start a video. We don't know how to plan. We don't know how to edit. We don't know how to shoot them properly. Uh, but as you can see, we've got all of the gear. Did you know, Danielle, that you had that much stuff? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Please help. So tell me about your business and what's been happening. So we've got a, a busy little dog training business and we train uh, pet dogs essentially, everything from puppies right up to aggressive dogs. And, um, and so we work with um, all sorts of dogs with all sorts of problems. And we train about 30 classes a week and it was just myself at first, myself and Stevie. Mm -hmm. And um, Stevie's and, the one snoring. <laughs> yeah, Stevie's our, our resident snorer. And just tell me how video started in the business. So what, what happened? Three years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and given three months to live. And um, and I, at the time, the, the one thing I wanted to do was make sure the business was ready for me to die and for Paul to take over. And so we thought it was important to get start getting some videos down. And we realised quickly it was a lot harder than we thought. And mm -hmm. so um, now that things are looking good cancer-wise and, um, and I'm not going to die, that was three years ago, um, you know, we, we certainly do want to do more video. I've noticed you've tried some videos. So how's that gone and, and what kind of things, you know, did you learn from, from your experience? Well, we really struggled a lot. With yeah, that. we struggled. It, it just didn't look right. It didn't flow right. We The graphic content we put on looked really naff. And yeah, we were just very hit and miss with it. It, didn't, it just didn't look right. It just looked like... And we struggled for it to feel natural. Yeah, it didn't look natural at all. It looked like we were reading everything that we were doing. So and we, we were. And we were, that's right. Yeah, badly sometimes. What did you learn from that, though? Not to do that. Not to do that. <laughs> If there was an inspirational video that you could make, what would that be? We'd like to teach people more about dog body language. Especially in play as well, you know. Yeah, dog body language in play for sure. So it's um, it's really important for people to understand their dog's body language because that's the way they're communicating to us. And they understand that language so well and we're supposed to be the ones with the bigger brains. And so, you know, it makes sense for us to learn their language rather than keep on insisting that they learn ours. So now's the time to get stuck into video and you've got so much gear there that you've absolutely got all the stuff. I've got the gear, she's got lots of information. The first thing that we want to do is, because you've got all the gear, you've got all the stuff, it's about planning. So let's start with something simple. I guess the most elementary thing of dog training is teaching a dog a marker signal, which is a signal that tells the dog whether it's done something right or not. Okay, and, um, perfect. And why it's earned a reward. Excellent. And now what we want to do is break it down on paper. So write down the steps. Thinking about the shots that you want to create. So getting a master shot and then getting some cutaways, things like that. So video one, we'll do an establishing shot. So yep. using your Handy cam, grab an establishing shot, starting wide, Danio introducing the clicker. And then you want to do three takes of that so that you've got some stuff to edit with. So do a medium close up and then a close up. And a medium close up is kind of like the newsreader, your head and shoulders, and then okay. a close up's just with the head. So the next shots you want to do are more creative cutaway shots. So you want to do shots with Stevie. Um, accepting the treats, shots of the actual device working, shots of you communicating, just different types of creative shots that I'll you can the then... in my yeah. hand, where I hold yeah. my hand. Okay, so yeah. it can be That's as creative, creative as you'd like to be. Yeah. 
you'll find that the more you do, the more you'll have preferred yeah. angles and preferred sides as well. So taking shots of what you've taken on the yeah. wide shot in the first place. That's right. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so you know, Paul, how in the plan we, we wrote down all the actions for the yep. quick treat? Well, now the important thing is to tick off everything on that plan. And the best thing is to do a wide shot and a medium shot and a close-up of the action. So over to you, Danielle, and we'll grab some action. Okay, so today we're going to talk about introducing a dog to a marker seat. We don't want to give the dog any indication that... And so every time we click, we give the dog a treat. I'm Danielle, this is Stevie, and we're very passionate about teaching you how to communicate better with your dog so you can achieve much better training results. All right, guys, do you know what to do now when you're making your videos? Yeah, I think we so. We sure do. We know so much idea. more than we did, yeah. Excellent. So what video are you going to make? I think we'll do teaching a dog to sit next. Excellent. And thank you to the star, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thanks again for all your help. We really appreciate it. No problem.